This instructional video covers the placement of a radial arterial catheter using ultrasound guidance and the catheter over needle technique. Arterial catheterization is a commonly used procedure in the operating room and intensive care unit that facilitates care of the critically ill patient. It enables continuous monitoring of systemic blood pressure, as well as arterial blood gas analysis and other blood assays. The procedure is generally attempted using surface landmarks and palpation of the radial artery pulse, but when difficulty is anticipated, ultrasound guidance can usually help avoid multiple attempts. Ultrasound can be used to identify the radial artery anywhere along its course in the forearm. This sonogram of the antecubital fossa demonstrates the difference in sonographic appearance of arteries and veins. Veins are easily compressible, and arteries are less compressible and pulsatile. Ultrasound equipment comes in many forms, and there is a trend toward battery-operated portable machines. A 20-gauge, 1.88-inch BD angiocath is a good choice for the catheter over needle technique. Safety glasses are worn to reduce the risk of splash to the clinician. Dyed chlorhexidine skin prep is applied. Jewelry is removed from the operator's hands and alcohol rinse is applied, even when sterile gloves are worn. Sterile drapes are placed around the puncture site. A sterile probe cover is placed over the ultrasound transducer and sterile transmission gel is applied to the patient's wrist. The transducer is held in the non-dominant hand and the needle is held like a pencil in the dominant hand such that it enters the skin at a 30 degree angle. This simulation shows a cylindrical structure imaged on short axis. The needle enters from outside the scan plane at the midpoint of the transducer and advances toward the plane of imaging, where it will appear as a hyperechoic dot. Tilting the transducer can be used to locate the needle tip and guide it into the vessel. Now let's take a look at the sonogram of the wrist that the operator will use to guide the arterial puncture. Lateral is on screen left, which corresponds with the operator's left. The radial artery is near the skin surface and is clearly pulsatile. The operator advances the needle, which is seen indenting the artery. Looking at the sonogram, we see the hyperechoic needle tip enter the artery, which corresponds with the flash of arterial blood. The catheter is advanced into the artery and the needle is removed and disposed of. A well-flushed transducer tubing set is attached. Blood and transmission gel are wiped away and a sterile dressing is applied. Additional tape reinforces the dressing and helps prevent catheter dislodgement. An arm board helps stabilize the wrist. Now let's move on to look at some basic troubleshooting. Although ultrasound can help achieve arterial puncture, further steps must be taken to properly advance the catheter. Ideally, as the needle enters the vessel, the angle of entry is flattened and the entire device is advanced. This gets the catheter into the lumen of the artery, at which point it can be freely advanced off the needle. Here, the angiocath is advanced toward the radial artery. When a flash of arterial blood occurs, the angle is flattened and the entire device is advanced a few millimeters further. When the catheter is threaded off, a sleeve of blood forms between the catheter and needle, signifying that the catheter tip is in the arterial lumen. 
Blood flow into the flash chamber continues as the catheter is advanced off the needle. Often a flash occurs when only the needle tip has entered the artery. If the catheter is advanced at this point, it will push the artery off the needle and the attempt will need to be aborted. If one tries to reinsert the needle in an effort to reestablish flow, the needle can puncture the catheter wall or even shear its tip off. Hence we see the importance of advancing the entire angiocath after the initial flash. The next set of issues occurs when the catheter is advanced too far after the initial flash. In the first case, only the needle tip has punctured the arterial back wall. Flow into the flash chamber will stop. If this happens, the catheter is kept in place and the needle is withdrawn a few millimeters so that its tip is now within the catheter. Since the catheter tip is still within the artery, a sleeve of blood will form and flow into the flash chamber will resume. The catheter is then carefully advanced while continuous flow is observed. Now let's look at what happens when the needle and catheter have both gone through and through. When the needle is withdrawn into the catheter, flow is not reestablished. Now the catheter and needle are slowly withdrawn as a unit until flow resumes via the catheter tip. The catheter is now advanced off the needle while making sure flow does not stop. With good needle over catheter technique and some practice with the use of ultrasound, radial arterial access can be obtained in some of the most challenging patients.